Hey gang, it's Coach Richard Wharton with Cycling Center Dallas, Online Bike Coach, and now Bicycle Evolution. Today, I'd like to run a short video explaining Exert's Focus feature. Now, I've tried to make this video several times, and I always kind of get hung up on explaining to people just what focus really is, what it means, and how to use it. But I think I've got this down, and I want to share it with you at this time. Ready? The first place that we want to take a look for focus actually starts well up into the account settings. So we click on account settings and then we click on athlete type. What you see is a power duration curve with a convex and a concave line across it. What this means is that as we go out on our power over time, we begin to lose average power over time. And at some point out in the 20 minute or 10 minute range, basically you get very little return for the amount of time that you're taking to accomplish the average power task. Now, this is the first place you should think of your focus. The question that it asks is, what kind of athlete are you? I don't know if that's necessarily the right question. What I would ask is, what kind of athlete do you want to become? And so when we think about that, it basically rewrites the question. And now we have to look at the philosophy behind uh, focus. So if you go out and you ride a three-hour event, okay, a three-hour ride, and then you get home and your focus is somewhere at around six minutes, well, you didn't do a three-hour focus. You had a ride with ups and downs and highs and lows and stops and starts and accelerations and bridges and recoveries and chats and everything else. But the concentration of benefits occurred at about the eight-minute phase, something like that. That's where focus exists. And so usually, for most cyclists, focus exists somewhere along this slope. Okay, I don't like to recommend taking the focus out because I just don't think that the intensity of the intervals that are recommended ends up giving you as much benefit. Three-hour cyclists still end up needing to do five-minute intervals here and there, four-minute intervals here and there, because we're trying to raise the anaerobic capacity and their peak power as well as their threshold and their lower threshold. So find something along this slope. Now what you can also do is this. You can start at a more broad focus and then change your focus over time over the period of months and days as you progress towards your cycling season. That's another way to look at it. Now next we're going to take a look at some of the primary charts and we will use my wife Tracy Christensen as the uh, model for these. When we go back to the main screen what we end up with is a quick look at Tracy's threshold power and then we've got her five minute mean max possible power. So you remember that flashing beacon that we had on the power duration curve? Well right now she is a five minute focused cyclist and if she were to attempt one five minute mean max effort it is possible, it is feasible that she could achieve 244 watts over those five minutes. Now, it would be the last five minutes that she rode for several minutes and maybe even days, but the theory is that she could hold or average 244 over five minutes. So there's another option for focus. But now, let's scroll down and let's take a look at her strain chart. Now, I'm going to turn off all of this other stuff right now, and I'm just going to show this meandering green trail. I've put it on one-year archive because you can see that as seasons come and go and other things like that, then the focus will change. So here we are in April of 2018. She's down at the seven-minute phase. She hadn't done much racing uh, at the beginning of 2018, but then she got into a uh, couple of accelerated events and started really kind of enjoying herself, 
and the focus and int the intensity of the intervals basically led her into a, let's see, she started off at 5 minutes, here she is at 4.8, 4.3, 4.1, 4.5, 3.8, 3.8, 3.3. So that was a steady migration towards a higher focus, higher intensity, more bursts of energy required. And that's where it went. Then she took a little bit of a break. And then here throughout July and August, she moved back up again to prepare for, I'm assuming, uh, hotter than hell in August. And then she basically went on a very long road trip and a career change and just went into an LSD mode. So her focus migrated down. It's a low focus. Low focus is higher numbers. High focus is lower numbers. I know that's juxtaposition, but it's what it is. Then we've got her in November. She was in a steady job. She was in a place where she could uh, uh, keep her bike. And you can see that the migration of focus has come back up again. All right. So now let's take a look at what the uh, energy outputs were in terms of her overall strain. And I'm going to zoom in on this block right here. Can you see all of these purple match heads and some of the green match tips on top? Those are moments of peak power and moments of HIE power that helped bring focus up or helped if the lack if they didn't if they're not there brought focus down and so we need a healthy mix which is where polarization comes from that gives us the ability to say ah well I need to do some low intensity cycling to draw my focus down towards seven eight and nine minutes but I also need to do some high intensity efforts in order to bring my HIE up and out and bring my focus back up. So it's a way to work on your specificity. All right, specificity, specificity, specificity. And you can see that with anaerobic and peak intensity work, focus trends up. With aerobic work, focus trends down. Next, we're going to take a look at it in the planner and in the uh, stats, and I'll show you where that looks like next. Okay, let's click on the planner button, and let me turn the feedback off, and we will get a very quick view of the month of February where we've had some rides, and then I'm going to go to weekly stats, and here's where we get some more focus information. And this is really, really good because what we can see is the weekly focus for all of her rides from Monday through Sunday. And I think if we go right over here, we can get the suggested focus for the uh, ATA. And that's, yeah, you know, that's a nice thing to have as well because it's saying, okay, well, based on this, we want you doing that. Based on that, we want you doing this. And you can either follow the bot or you can uh, work on your own uh, agenda. And, again, that all depends on the date that comes out of the uh, final, uh, final ride account settings. So you can say, okay, well, she wants to peak for April the 27th. Here it is, February. And... When we click the back arrow, uh, we're going to get back into the planner, let load, go into weekly stats, and you can see that it's still recommending uh, endurance workouts. Again, I'm not the, I'm not a fan of the of the ATA. That's just me, and and again, it's it's kind of me versus the world. But anyway, um, you can also see. Let me turn off the suggested focus. You can also see the uh, values that are coming out of the breakaway specialist that she has chosen. And we're going to go back a couple of weeks, and you can see a nice, decent progression. 223, 226, a little bit of a flat line. Nice jump to 243 in January. Uh, she brought it back down a little bit. She's come back down a little bit. Honestly, um, it's deep winter in Reno where she is uh, doing her training. 
and she's stuck indoors. But uh, you can see that uh, as of this week, she's back up to a 242. Now, this also is a great place to show you uh, what focus can do for polarity. Take a look at this. If your focus for the week is at 9 minutes and 50 seconds, I will bet you a wooden nickel that your polarity is going to be uh, in the high 90s. If you are uh, focusing on something that's incredibly intense, I'll bet you a nickel that your polarity is going to be a lot closer. That's just my own observation, but it is worth kind of keeping an eye on. But anyway, you can sort of see focus is here as well, and we're now able to see what focus is doing. So let's go back to the main screen, and let's just have a quick little chat. Hang on. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to apply focus in a workout. Now I'm going to give you an indoor workout and it's one of my Perf Pro style workouts and I know there's some controversy about what focus can do with a fixed gear and a erg load and smart workouts on Perf Pro uh, on, uh, on, on Exert and everything else but work with me here. But before we go there let's have a quick quick review. Focus is the definition of the concentration of benefits over the course of an entire ride. So a 60 minute ride with variable intensities will not show a 60 minute focus. It will show a 6 minute or an 8 minute or a 4 minute. When you go hard, focus goes up to zero. When you go easy, focus goes down towards infinity. And the more intense you ride or the more easy you ride, that thing's going to float. Now, it gets less and less sensitive as you migrate out over the course of a ride. So at 50 kilojoules from start, it's going to be hypersensitive. At 600 kilojoules from the start, it's going to be a lot less sensitive. Now, this is my client, Leo, and he is uh, currently... pedaling along to a load and what you can see that I've now that I've put the screen on there is you can see that he is increasing his intensity uh, and it's under a fixed gear this is what Perf Pro does the areas in blue are uh, designed around a uh, increasing intensity and the areas in orange are slope based now let's take a look at what his focus is doing during those same periods of high and low intensities. Now what I really want you to focus on is row three, column one. That's the focus. And as Leo increases his intensity, which you can see on row one, column two, you're going to see the colors of the watts change and the focus is going to go up. As soon as he finishes the interval, you'll see the focus trickle slightly down. That's the way that focus works. Now, why is all of this important? Focus is unique because it gives the rider the ability to look at what the concentration of benefits really is over the course of a bicycle ride. And so you can ride for a high focus, a low focus. You can ride for a high focus. Low focus is going to be 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 minutes. A high focus is going to be 5, 4, 6, 3, 2 minutes, things like that. You can do that acutely using the fields on your Garmin. You can do that empirically and track and follow and make your own progression and periodization. Again, if you want to optimize your five minute power, then you don't necessarily have to start out by looking at five minute focus intervals. You can start out, if you're 12 weeks out, doing eight minute focus intervals, and then six minute focus intervals, and then finally migrate to the five minute focus intervals, which are going to be in the 30 to 90 second range anyway, and increase your intensity get some breakthroughs, grow your HIE, and improve your threshold and your lower threshold. 
Focus is extremely powerful. It's just not entirely understood. I'm hoping that this video might have helped a little bit. Uh, if it didn't, please leave your comments below and we'll try to answer those questions as best we can with screenshots and maybe even some follow-up videos.